places we work together. I think the best example was after the flood last year, and the, the, literally the flood happened like three months into my coming to Missouri, and we went to all our wastewater and drinking water facilities, and we said, hey, what, what is it that you need that would have lessened the impact of that flood? Um, some was if we just had a generator or if our intake was in a different position or our outflow was in a different position. And so we, we, did, we asked those, those, those resiliency questions of our wastewater and drinking water facilities. And then we heard one of your biggest programs is asking people about resiliency. What is it you need to, to be resilient? What is it you need to continuously offer affordable and reliable energy? So just that, had we been working together, we could have accomplished so much. So I'm very excited to be here. Um, I wanted to pass it over to Drew Button. He's going to talk about some of our initiatives. Again, these are our strategic initiatives. These are the things we're focusing on the next year. We're very excited about these programs. But these programs, of course, do not represent everything this agency does, nor does it represent everything we will be involved in together. But it gives you a, a, a high level understanding of what we, what, where our priorities are and what we're really on driving on coming year. Hi guys, so again, I'm Drew Bonton. I'm the deputy, one of the deputies at the uh, Department of Natural Resources. So my primary areas of responsibility are the Division of State Parks and the Division, the Missouri Geological Survey. And um, I came back to DNR uh, in May of 2017 after spending four years as executive director of the Upper Mississippi River Basin Association. But prior to that, had spent 12 years at DNR. And uh, many of you, it's good to see familiar faces. Uh, worked with those of you that were at the Division of Energy when, when you were at DNR. Um, I work closely with, with many of you and I look forward to working with you again. Uh, so I do have a bit of knowledge in terms of, of what you guys do. I'm interested to further understand uh, some of how that's changed. I think that for those of you that have been at DNR before, you'll find that um, in the division or not the only place that things have changed. Um, and, and our 2019 placemat and Christy and Rob and those of you that were in the meeting last week, I promise I won't talk for 25 minutes about our strategic placemat. I uh, got a little bit of trouble, uh, got a little bit of trouble for uh, talking on too long last time. Um, but I think you'll find that, that um, the Division of Energy is not the only place that things have changed. So our aspirational statement, so how many of you are familiar with DED's placemat? Do you know what I'm talking about? Somewhat. So the strategic placemat um, identi identifies kind of the, the strategic, either strategic change initiatives or strategic focus areas that we're looking at. It, typically these are for a one to two year period. And so we have a number of initiatives. Uh, it's, it's kind of the overarching aspirational theme um, for the department or aspiration is to help Missouri citizens thrive by managing natural resources to promote a healthy environment and a healthy economy. And so I think the extent to which you're going to see uh, changes deal with the way that we're trying to refocus the way we look at trying to help uh, in partnership with the Department of Economic Development in taking advantage of economic development opportunities, uh, whether that be in our funding sources or whether that be in a single point of contact in the various permitting uh, requirements that might be uh, uh, placed upon an entity looking to locate in the state of Missouri. There are four themes under DNR's strategic placement, and I think there are a number of opportunities or um, uh, kind of leverage points with the Division of Energy that we've already begun to, to think about uh, in, our, in our conversations with your division management. Uh, the first theme is promoting environmental responsibility and resource stewardship. That encompasses everything from ensuring that uh, all of our facilities have current environmental permits to look at how uh, timely we are with the issuance of permits. Uh, but it also includes the Volkswagen settlement, which, uh, as some of you may know, uh, our plan for that included the full amount uh, of charging stations uh, 
uh, for, for vehicle charging stations. And so obviously that is an opportunity there uh, with the division and, 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 um, and DNR. Uh, the second theme is enhancing services, information, and communication with the public. That has to do with um, a number of things, including how, uh, how accessible our various information is to the public in terms of uh, Sunshine Act responses. It also includes a, a complete overhaul of our department website. I know you all have been focused on uh, some of, of that as well from the division, and so uh, we look forward to uh, working with you to determine how that fits in, in the department's new website. The third theme is providing family-friendly and sustainable state parks and outdoor recreation opportunities. Uh, there's a little bit of history with the division and, and our division of state parks. Uh, on energy projects going back to the Recovery Act and, and some specific energy efficiency projects that were accomplished between the Division of Energy and the Division of State Parks. And so we, um, one of the things that we're looking at is focusing on our um, infrastructure within the park system, uh, whether that's roads, whether that's a number of different aspects of deferred maintenance that has occurred, and I think the extent to which there are opportunities for the Division of Energy and State Parks to work together on really providing uh, sustainability from an energy perspective in the state park system will be interested in continuing to, to build upon work that had been done in the past. The final theme is modernizing infrastructure, strengthening workforce, and supporting economic development. Um, uh, we have a number of different pass-through funding sources, whether it's wastewater and drinking water infrastructure funding, outdoor recreation funding to communities, trails funding, um, and we're looking to provide more of a menu so that when we are looking at economic development opportunities, we can holistically look at how we can assist uh, with that. And obviously, uh, the energy loan funds and other aspects of financing on the energy side will just add to that menu and add to our ability to assist with those opportunities. So those were more brief than 25 minutes, I hope. But those are some of the things that we've already begun to discuss with your division. I have always thoroughly enjoyed uh, working with those of you that I've had an opportunity to work with in the past. I know many of you have joined the division since it has been in uh, the Department of Economic Development. I can just tell you that I, along with the director, uh, am excited uh, about you uh, coming to DNR. I think we have an opportunity to do some great things together, and, um, and, and we're excited about it. Thank you, Drew. So you heard this theme of economic development, supporting economic development, and that's, that's one of our, our biggest drivers. So to the extent you feel like you're, you're coming into a universe that's foreign, you are absolutely not. I often say you can't have a healthy environment without a healthy economy but you won't have a healthy economy without a healthy environment. It takes both. It takes money to have a healthy environment, but without a healthy environment, you don't have that, that quality of life issue that, that investors or that businesses really want for their employees and, and for them. So we are here to balance that. We, we, we spend a lot of time emphasizing compliance assistance, helping our regulated public meet their obligations helping facilities get the permits they need to do the work to, to make the expansion, to make the investment that, that they want to make. So we are, we are on board 100% with economic development. Rob and I partner very closely on, on many matters, and I hope you'll feel right at home. Um, I'm going to pass it off to Katie Jo Wheeler. She's going to talk a little bit about herself, but also about the process of the MOU. Hi, I'm going to go ahead and stand because I'm just short enough that I can't see those of you in the back if I don't. Um, hi, Katie Jo Wheeler. I'm the Deputy Director and General Counsel for the Department. Um, I have two divisions that are a part of my responsibility. Um, that includes the Division of Environmental Quality, which is our environmental regulatory arm, this, 
They're the ones doing most of the permits that Drew's talking about, and also the Division of Administrative Support. Um, in the director's office, I also work with our communications team and also with our general counsel's office. Um, and so uh, even though I won't have any direct responsibility for the Division of Energy when it comes to communications, when it comes to cross-silo things, legal, all those kinds of things, administrative support, all of that is part of my purview and what I'm working on uh, every day. So um, we're we're very excited, like everyone has said, to get you into the fold, um, to share with you what we already have going on, to figure out how we can fit you in uh, to what we have going on and what new things uh, might belong you know, in that placemat um, that the Division of Energy can bring to the table. So uh, the MOU, the Memorandum of Understanding, is going to be kind of the base document for how we accomplish the transfer to get your division to, uh, to the Department of Natural Resources. And so we have some core teams um, from both your division and from our department um, that are working on putting that together. Where's Michael? Is he in here somewhere? He might have stepped up. Okay. So Michael Lanahan um, and Rochelle will be major players for you all uh, on your side of the table. And then Jacob Weston will be doing a lot of the legwork for us because if you aren't sure, this is a baby. So uh, I am within two or three weeks for sure of, of being out of the office for a period of time. So, so Drew and Jacob will really be uh, the point people for us in trying to make this as smooth as possible. We do have an advantage over some of the other divisions that are, are looking at going other directions because um, this is a transfer that we did in reverse in 2013. Um, I wasn't here, but I got lots of happy documents uh, about how we, how we accomplished getting um, you know, Division of Energy from DNR to DED. And so we're basically starting foundationally with just reversing those and then figuring out where we need to make tweaks. There have been some changes in the law um, and we learned some lessons from last time. So we're committed to trying to make this as smooth a process as we can. So you have anything you'd like to say, Jacob? <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'll take just a moment. Um, hi, I'm Jacob Weston. I'm Deputy General Counsel. I'll be working on the nuts and bolts of the MOU with Michael Lanahan. So as you have specifics that you think are important, please make sure to pass those along to Michael and Rochelle so we can make sure we get everything dealt with pr correctly and accordingly in the document. Thank you. So you heard Drew has responsibility for state parks in the Missouri Geological Survey. Katie Joe has responsibility for the Division of em Environment and the uh, Administrative Services. So you're probably all wondering, where are we going? <laughs> I see some nods. Um, you're going to be direct report to, to me, um, at least for the, for the near term, um, so that, that we can ensure high level review, great coordination, that your issues get, uh, get elevated, and that, that we can communicate well. That also means that our intention is to have you in the Lewis and Clark building very close by um, for easy access, easy communication, and availability. So I, I know there are some people that, that aren't terribly happy about that, and, and for that I apologize. Um, the only thing I can say is parking is a lot better <laughs> today than it was in 2013. Um, we have the space. Of course, all this is, is dependent on the uh, Office of Administration, um, but, but we think for, for cooperation, for communication, for coordination, it's really important to have you close by so that we develop that relationship and you get the attention that, that you deserve. Um, from a, a logistical standpoint, I, I can't tell you that, that, we, that we know when those answers will come. Um, but our, our, our hope is that we can actually make that physical transfer soon after the executive order becomes final in March, April, somewhere in that time. Okay, great. So a lot of questions came up about, well, what does that mean for the individuals? And, and the answer is it's, it's just a relocation. Um, we don't anticipate reorganization. We don't anticipate any form of reduction in force. We don't anticipate there will be any impact. There will be no impact to salary or to retirement or any of those issues. I know those are the big, those are the big questions. Um, 
It's our intention that this goes as smoothly as possible. We are actually, again, very excited to have you come to DNR, and, and we're looking forward to, to having you there. And we are committed to making this work, making it easy, and making it as smooth as possible for each and every one of you. Um, as Katie Joe indicated, there's a, or s there's a series of, of meetings that are ongoing to actually work out the fine details. So our HR folks are meeting with DED HR folks. Our financial folks are meeting with your financial folks. So we're working through HR budget, through all those kind of issues that, that are covered in the MOU, the, the, the nuts and bolts about how, how we physically make that move down to, you know, computer system, phones, things of that nature. So there's a lot of moving pieces here. But, but all I can say is, I, I, I'm, I'm told I can't say welcome back because most of you have not actually been. But all I can say is, welcome to DNR. We're, we're very happy to have you. So with that, I'm, I'm happy to take any questions, or we're all happy to take any questions. Oh, I see Drew is here. Drew, do you want to say anything? No. <laughs> all right. Any, any questions? This can't be that easy. Well, I know the next couple months are going to be going to be challenging for you. I know there's a lot of uncertainty, but, but we are here to, to make this as easy as possible. I encourage you to contact us if you have any question. I have an open door policy. Send me an email. Come by and visit. Slip me a note under the door if you want it to be anonymous. I'm OK with that. I just want to hear what your thoughts, your concerns are, so we can address those. I want this to be as easy as possible so that we can get on to the work of providing a, a reliable and affordable energy mix to, to all of our residents. So thank you all for being here today. I'm looking forward to working with you.